my channel my name is Emmy if you're new here I would love for you to join a fifth fan by clicking the subscribe button so we can work out and get fit together every week today I'll be showing you my first ever 10 minute stretch routine a lot of you have asked for a stretch and cool down video to do after my workout here you go it's quick and simple and just like my workout videos you can do them anywhere at home or when you travel I have to confess that I'm pretty lazy when it comes to stretching you'll see later that I'm not the most flexible person for me 10 minutes is already the max because I just don't have a lot of patience when it comes to stretching but I'm pushing myself to do it these days after each workout because stretching is so important it keeps your muscles strong, flexible and healthy and we need that flexibility to maintain a range of motions in our joints and without it our muscles shorten and get tight and that's when risk of injuries increase okay enough of me talking here you go my 10 minutes quick stretch routine we will first start with sky reach and toes touch to stretch and loosen up our whole body including torso, spine, back, legs, abs, hamstrings and even our internal organs. Standing upright with feet shoulder width apart. Inhale as you reach your arms towards the sky and look up. Then exhale as you bend forward, keeping your legs straight and try to touch your toes with your hands and look in between your toes. Remember that this is stretch and cool down, so take your time and focus on your breathing. There is no need to rush through the movements. If you feel like it, you can pause the video and spend more time on each stretch. Next one is neck stretch. You can stay in your standing position or sit down if you like. Place your left hand on the top of your head and slowly tilt your head to the left. Apply gentle pressure with your hand to increase the stretch. Switch sides after 15 seconds. I sometimes replay this with a neck roll by gently rolling my head. Then we'll stretch out our triceps. Raise your left hand straight overhead, then bend it so your left hand is on the middle of your upper back. Reach over with your right hand and hold on to your left elbow on the top, so your right palm faces down. Pull your left elbow gently down and towards your right side until you feel a stretch in your left triceps. Hold it for 15 seconds and repeat on the other side. Keep breathing. Bring your arms down for a shoulder stretch. Reach your left arm across your upper body, keeping it straight, then hold it with your right arm. Gently pull your left arm towards your chest. Remember to keep your shoulder down and relax. Hold the stretch for 15 seconds and switch side. We are then moving on to a chest stretch. Take a deep breath, slowly reach both hands behind your back until they are touching. Lace your fingers together, breathe out as you slowly push your chest out and arms away from the body and hold. If you want a deeper stretch, breathe in and breathe out as you stretch your hands further out and push your chest forward even more. Next one, we're stretching out our quads. Stand on your right leg. If you need to, you can hold onto a chair or wall for support if you struggle with the balance. Grab your left foot with your right hand and pull towards your butt. Do your best to keep your chest upright. You should be feeling a good stretch in your left thigh. Hold for 15 seconds and switch to the other leg. Next is calves. Step your left leg forward and your right leg back. Bend the front leg but not the back leg, keeping it straight. Both feet should be flat on the floor. Place your hands on the thighs of your front leg and sit your weight down as you press through your right heel. You should be feeling a stretch in the calf of your back leg. Hold for 15 seconds and switch side. Next one is forward bend to stretch the spine, the back, hip, and the inner and back legs. Step your feet wide apart and parallel, approximately 3 to 5 feet apart depending the length of your legs. Reach your arms straight out and lace your fingers together. Breathe in, then breathe out as you bend forward to your left leg and try to touch your left toes. Then slightly come up and bend forward to touch the floor in the middle between your feet. And then bend forward again towards the right side and touch your right toes. 
Repeat this by flowing left to right and right to left and continue for 30 seconds. Next is the tightest part and also the hardest part to stretch out for me, the hip flexor. Kneel with your left knee on the floor at the back and your right foot in front with the knee bent. With your hands on your front knee, keeping your chest up, push your hips forward and down and you will be feeling a stretch in your left inner hip muscles. Hold this for 15 seconds and switch side. Tenth, we are stretching out our wrists. Come onto all fours, place your hands on the floor with your palms down and your fingers pointing forward. Then turn your right hand to have the palm up and fingers pointing towards your knees. Slowly put more weight onto your wrist to stretch and hold this position for 15 seconds. And switch hands. We are halfway through, stay in this tabletop position and we will go into our 11th stretch. Cat and cow to help warm up your spine, stretch the neck, hips, abs and back and also massage your internal organs and relieve tension in your body. Take a big deep inhale, arch your back, lift your head and tailbone up towards the sky. On the exhale, round your spine up towards the ceiling and imagine you are pulling your belly button up towards your spine. Tuck your chin towards your chest and let your neck release. Continue flowing back and forth between the two poses and connect your breath to each movement. Continue for 30 seconds. 12. Let's stretch out our abs. Lie on your stomach on the floor, palms flat at chest level, legs extended straight behind you with your toes pointed away from your body. Then take a deep breath and push up off your hands, raising your torso as high as you can without lifting your pelvis off the floor, feeling a stretch in your abs. Hold for around 10 seconds, then stretch the side of your abs by looking back to your left toes for another 10 seconds. And last one, look to your right toes for 10 seconds. Next one, we'll be doing shoulder roll over. Come onto your belly and extend your left arm out to the side, palm facing down. Bend your right elbow and put your right hand on the mat in front of your chest. Press your left arm onto the floor and begin to roll open, with your back facing your left arm on the floor. Step your right foot up and over to roll your body more to the side and make sure you are breathing. Stay on the side for 15 seconds and switch. Fourteenth, we're stretching out our tight hamstrings, one leg at a time. Sit on the floor and straighten your left leg in front of you. Bend the right knee, placing the sole of your right foot against your left inner thigh. Then fold your upper torso over your left leg, but try to keep your back straight even if it means you can't bend your whole body right on top of your leg. Otherwise, you'll be bending your back instead of stretching your hamstring. Hold one side for 15 seconds and switch legs. We will then stretch our hips with butterfly pose. Stay seated, bend both knees and bring your feet together, hold your feet with your hands. Lengthen your spine, draw your belly button inward, relax your shoulders and gaze towards your feet. Slowly fold forward, drawing your torso to your legs. Remember to try to keep your spine straight. Stay here for 30 seconds. Next one is body twist to stretch out the spine, glutes and also lower back. Lie on your back, stretch your right arm out to the side at shoulder height. Palm down. Both of your shoulders should remain on the mat throughout the stretch. Bend both of your knees, take a deep breath in, exhale as you begin lower your legs to the left side as your head looks to the right side where your right arm is extended out. Continue to breathe slowly and deeply, exhaling as you relax your lower back and extend your stretch. Switch side after 15 seconds. 17th is knee to chest to stretch out the glutes, hip flexor and hamstrings. It also helps release tension in the spine and lower back. Continue to lie on your back with both legs straight out. Leaving left leg in place, hold right knee with both hands and hug it towards your chest while pressing your lower back into the floor. Hold this side of the stretch for 15 seconds and switch legs. We'll give our glutes and hamstring a further stretch with the next move. Still lying on your back, bend both knees, cross your left leg over your right so that your left ankle is resting on your right knee. Gently pull your right thigh towards your chest until you feel a deep stretch in your glute. Hold this position for 15 seconds and switch side. Remember to keep breathing as you hold the position.
19th, we're almost done with the stretch. We're getting into happy baby position for a calming hip and thighs opener and at the same time also massages our back. Lying flat on your back, bend both knees and hold the big toes of your flexed feet with your fingers. Keeping your shoulders down and relax. Gently rock from side to side and back and forth to give yourself a gently back massage. Continue for 30 seconds. We are now going to our ending pose, my favorite child pose to stretch the hips, thighs, ankles and relaxes the muscles of both front and back of the body. You can hold in this position as long as you want even after the 30 seconds timer goes off. Begin on your hands and knees. Center your breath and begin to let your thoughts slow down. Spread your knees wide apart while keeping your big toes touching. Rest your butt on your heels. Exhale and bow forward, dropping your upper torso on between your thighs. Your heart and chest should rest on top of your thigh. Keep your arms long and extended, palms facing down. Press back slightly with your hands to try to keep your butt in contact with your heels. Soften and relax your lower back. Allow all tension in your shoulders, arms and neck to drain away. Keep your gaze drawn inward with your eyes closed. Hope you enjoyed the stretch. Give this video a thumbs up so we can reach more people to join our FitFam and work out together. I'll see you next week.